Hi friends, welcome back to the art room with Mrs. Nolte. Today we are going to be making clay cupcakes. Our cupcakes are going to be made using a pinch pot and coil construction. So let's get started. For today's materials, you're going to need a piece of clay, and I'm using kiln dried clay, but you could use air dried clay, um, a very straight edged um, cup or bowl, and some alphabet noodles, water, and a little stick or a toothbrush, something kind of pointy that you can scratch with. We're going to split our clay in half, and you want a ball about the size of your hand. And I'm going to use um, the, my palm of my hand and give it a little tap. I could also use the base of my hand to tap it or the table just to help round it out. Once you have the ball done, we're going to make a pinch pot out of it. So we're going to hold it in our non-dominant hand and you're going to take your thumb and you're going to push it in almost to the back not all the way through but as close to the back as you can get it. Now we're going to pinch around the edge of the ball. You don't want to be a tiger. You don't want to make it like pinchy. You want to keep your hand flat like a duck, like a duck bill. So I'm going to put my thumb back into the indent and then I'm going to gently squeeze keeping my fingers flat like a duck bill and I'm going to slowly squeeze and turn. Don't go along the edge because you'll have a very thin edge on your pinch pot. You want to start from the base of the bottom of the pinch pot and squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn. And if your hand gets tired, you can switch hands. Just make sure you keep those fingers nice and flat and you don't pinch it by grabbing it. You want to have a nice smooth edge and a nice even thickness around the pinch pot. You can see that I'm starting to get a few little cracks in it. That's because the water in the clay is starting to evaporate. But that's okay, we're going to add a little water to it in a minute. So now that I have my pinch pot done, I'm going to place my cup right in the center. And it's important that you use a cup that has very straight edges to it. It doesn't flare out too much. So I put the little uh, my little template here right in the middle. I'm actually going to use this as an armature a way to build around it. And once I have it on, I'm going to take a tiny bit of water on the tips of my fingers and I'm going to smooth out any areas where the water in the clay started to evaporate and I've created some little cracks. So the smoother you make it, the shinier it's going to be when we glaze them at the end. So I'm going to go back over all the edges of this and either smooth it with my thumb, add a tiny bit of water, and smooth out all the little cracks. Now that I have my cupcake base pretty much done, I'm going to add some texture to the outside of the pinch pot and I'm using a bamboo skewer. You could use a toothpick or a pencil, anything that you have. And I'm going to press it very gently into the clay. I'm actually not drawing into the clay because I don't want to uh, break it so that when I pull the clay pot off it falls apart. I'm just making a very subtle, very light indent with the side of the bamboo skewer. And I'm going to try to make these lines kind of even all the way around. This will make it look like there's a wrapper, a paper wrapper around it. So I want to be able to tell whose cupcake this belongs to and one of the tricks that I've used for many years is I take dried alphabet noodles. This is um, the little noodles that they make alphabet soup out of and I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick out the letters of my name so that I can indent them into the clay and it's a lot easier using the alphabet noodles than trying to write my name with a stick. Um, so I find my letters 
and I'm not going to take them out. Once I put them in the clay, I'm going to leave them. They'll burn up in the kiln. Now if you're using air dried clay, um, wait till the clay is dried and then they should pop out. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put my name on the bottom of my cupcake. And I'm going to gently press my letters in. And once I have them all the way in, I'm going to go through and make sure that they're nice and flat and really indented into that clay. And I don't have to do anything else. And now my name's on and I'll know it's my cupcake. Um, now we're going to gently give the clay a little twist. I'm going to try to pull this off the cup. And I'm going to smooth out with my thumb the base of the cupcake. This is going to be a nice little pinch pot. To, you can store things in it and I want to get the edge even. So this I'm going to do so gently. I'm going to hold the cupcake in my hand and I'm very gently going to let it tap straight down on the table. This will make the edge of the cupcake nice and flat. So when I go to put my um, top on it, my little cover made of frosting, it'll fit perfectly. All right, everyone, nice job on your pinch pot cupcake. Now we're going to start with our frosting top. Our top of our uh, cupcake bowl is going to be a coil construction. So I want to make sure that the coil is the right size to fit right on top of my cupcake. So I'm going to take a little piece of paper and a marker and I'm going to very gently trace around it. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle just so that we kind of have a, a an idea how big it's going to be. Now I'm going to start a coil construction. So I'm going to take some small pieces of clay and I'm going to um, roll them between my hands. I'm going to scrunch it so that it's uh, warmed up a little bit and try to make it into almost like a little tube. Once I have the basic shape here, I'm going to lay it on my table or on my clay board. And I'm going to keep my fingers nice and straight. I'm going to start in the center of the clay and I'm going to roll back and forth really gently. If you push down too hard, it'll go flat. And then I'm going to roll back and forth with my fingers and kind of as I'm rolling back and forth I'm going to start to spread it out to the outside edges of the clay. This is going to help the coil to get a little bit thinner as I go. So I'm going to keep my hand flat and roll. Now I'm going to use my template and I'm going to do the first coil. I'm going to take a sharp pointy tool. Um, you could use a toothbrush to do this and we're going to need to score, which is to make little scratches or little holes in the clay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of slip. Now slip can be water or really watery clay. So I put some water in those holes and then I continued with the coil going around the inside of the coil. I'm going to make a spiral. So let's do the next, um, the next little coil. Keep your finger straight, start at the center of the clay, and roll out to the sides. Keep your hands nice and flat, and try not to push down too hard. If you push too hard, it'll flatten the clay. It'll be hard to roll. Very gentle. Start at the center and spread your hands apart as you go. Now, got to score it again. Poke the little holes. Add a little slip which is our water that's going to act like glue and make sure you get the the slip in the little holes make sure that water you tap that water into the holes I'm going to take my coil and I'm going to go around on the inside of the coil I'm going to continue that spiral 
score it. Every time you do another row, you have to make sure you score it and you add some slip. Um, if you don't add the water, the water um, actually dissolves some of the clay so it starts to act like glue and it'll stick the two pieces of clay together so it doesn't fall apart. Yep, see that fell apart. So I've got to kind of give it a little squeeze here. And then I'm going to take my finger with a tiny bit of water on the tip of my finger and I'm going to smooth out very gently any um, scratches or cracks or little holes. I'm going to allow the clay to kind of blend in some of those holes so we don't see it so it's going to be nice and smooth. Just try not to blend it so hard that you, that you um, squish the coil. You still want to see the coil. There we go, there's my little frosting top. Now I'm going to add a little cherry right in the middle there. So I'm going to make a little a little uh, ball out of a small piece of clay. I have to score or poke little holes in the clay. Then I have to add some water or slip. And then I'm going to drop this little ball on top and I'm going to twist it a couple of times so I know that it's really made a good seal. It's really made a good connection. And then I'm going to poke a tiny hole so that I can put a stem in it after it's dried. So let's lift up this coil. And it should fit pretty, pretty snugly. There we go. Oh, look, we have this fabulous cupcake. And you can hide all kinds of fun things in your cupcake. Now, before I finish, I'm going to put my name on the coil. Same thing. I'm going to pull up my little noodles, find the letters to my name. And I'm going to put the uh, letters into the clay. And I'm not going to take them out. I'm going to leave them in the clay. And they will burn up when it goes into the kiln. So there are my letters and this way they won't get mixed up with any of our friends in class. We'll know, know it's your cupcake. Fantastic. Yay! Now it's going to um, dry. It's going to become bone dry. We'll put it in the kiln. We'll fire it and in another week we'll have a chance to uh, paint our cupcakes. Boop! There we go. Nice job, everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed making their cupcakes out of a pinch pot with a coil construction frosting. They're all finished. Um, they're going to dry, and then we'll paint them next time. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time in the art room.